guys, Fabuli here today and welcome back to Software Inc. Uh, last time we just ended off having hired everyone and giving them all new tasks to start working on, which have now been started. Uh, and there was also a suggestion to actually use the app team to work on the operating system as well, which I guess once they finish the uh, office software, we might end up doing that. And uh, how many people? 31 employees have called in sick. Uh, that's what you guys are pointing out. Because I, I think I said at one point we had like 50 call in sick. But then there was another, if you went back in the video, there was one that said like 80 people had called in sick. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I guess everyone's coming down with something lately. Anyway, they added a few new features. Or I did a few changes to the game since I last played. We zoom in. We're happy to see. Some, so some of these plants have changed. They look a little different now. They're a little bit fancier. Also, all the lamps and tables have changed. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I think also the coffee makers and coffee machines change. I don't know where we have any. I think the cooler's slightly updated as well. Uh, I'm trying to see what else. So we got those little mini fridges there. I don't... Do we even... Where do we even have coffee machines? Do we even have any anywhere? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe even in this building? Hello? We got a lot of mini for oh in here maybe uh, kind of I guess it might be slight I think it's nicer I don't know I can't really remember anyway so that, there's a few things that's up a few things that have updated uh, and someone said that I updated everything in the building to phones although this looks like calculators still so I think we're good these are still phones are these the lawyers yeah okay yeah no that's fine I don't know uh, although you seem very stressed. I guess it's because, yeah, you guys are saying that we should probably get more lawyers because they are working pretty much overtime on this stuff. But, you know, well, I, I mean, I don't really care. It's, it's fine. It doesn't really matter if we don't get that. Now, the other thing we can do, I might as well fast forward here because otherwise we're going to be waiting forever, uh, is, yeah, so the other new thing that we can do is actually add team colors, which is kind of cool. So if we go here and go color, we can do core team color can be, I don't know, blue. Sure, core team can be blue. Then what I want to do is actually, let me turn on room labels. That's going to, nope. Uh, is that? Uh, room labels, that one. Um, is then go to like these rooms. I, I think I mentioned that I wanted to color them all as well anyway. So what I'm going to do is select all these rooms. Maybe not the bathroom. Uh, all these rooms. Okay, can I wait till daytime now? Because now I can't really see. And then we're going to change the color of the floor. Yeah. Then we'll make it, oh, maybe, mm. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we won't do the color of the floor because it looks kind of bad. Uh, let's not. Let's do the color of the walls instead. That might look better. I will right, we'll go pretty pretty heavy on the blue. Oh, but then you get orange floor left over. Hmm. I don't know. Let's let's try the walls. Anyway, there you go. It's not. I know it's not the same color. We could do the exact same color. Oh, actually, the other thing we can do now. Uh, so you can add company cars to all your staff. Um, what do we do that? Employee benefits. And now apparently, yeah, you can change your, your company car color. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just kind of cool. Although I don't know what color we would do. So let me know in the comments down below. Uh, we don't really have, I guess we've, we've done all these benefits. We just haven't done company car kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what color we should do. All right, so we've got blue for core team. Uh, I just don't, eh, well... We should change the floor as well, because it means you have... Nah, nah, whatever. Alright, so we got the core team and then we got all... Oh my lord. I forgot all these teams are like... Really tight in, down here to get... Oh yeah, actually, so you guys are also saying that... Uh, if they don't have a sink, they have a, a higher chance... Uh, of getting sick, which I guess might explain us having like 30 people calling in sick. Uh, which would... Okay, so what we'll do... Let's jump into build mode and let's maybe just delete. No, let's do let hang on. I need to go top down. Let's combine these two rooms and combine these two. Okay, so these are all combined. Then what we'll do is we'll delete one of these doors. We'll delete half of the stuff in this room because it's the same. And then we'll just add a sink in because I think that might be just a better way. I don't think we really need two bathrooms here anyway. Actually, you know what? I'll add it this way. Because we have the we have so we have one bathroom for all those people, which is not a lot, but then we also do have bathrooms just upstairs there. Uh these, oh yeah, these only have toilets. Actually, can we fit a sink? We might just be able to fit a sink in. Oh, you can. I wonder if they can still walk in here though. I guess let's do it. I guess maybe I didn't need a hang on. You know what? Let's actually undo. 
Maybe we can just fit sinks in here and they can still... We'll keep an eye on it. I'm have, it I mean, it seems very... Cra oh, no, you know what? They can't get to the light, I think. Yeah. Okay, well, that's all right. Maybe we can just move the light. Okay, so in these bathrooms, there's a sink right next to the door and then also a radiator right there. Um, I don't know about that, but I guess we'll see. Let's test, I guess. So if we do one on the wall, can I get it? No. Uh, there? Damn it. Uh, you know what? It might be better to just... No, this is ridiculous. Let's, let's combine these rooms. <laughs> I, I, I also don't like this. So let's combine these rooms because that looks ridiculous. Like so. And then delete half the stuff. Uh, no, this stuff. Let's delete those, delete that door. And then we'll delete that door, delete these. Okay, that, well, at least these ones will be a little bit roomier. I don't know about the other ones. Uh, so we'll just do that, that's fine. Yeah. Like, I don't know about the lobby ones. We'll look at the, oh, they also don't have tiles. It's okay. You know, we did a lot of build work. There's, there's some things that are sure to fall through the cracks. So we'll get rid of that door and then these things. And then we'll get rid of this door and these things. And we'll get a little sink in here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so those go there. They have a bigger bathroom. Now these ones, I'm not sure about because we can, we can get a sink in here, but then they can't use the light. Well, they can't, like maintenance can't reach the light. So maybe we can move the light. What if we go like this and then halve it, but and then align it to the light. They can get the light. Here we go. Okay, so this is like the world's most cramped room. Oh, no, wait, did I do this? One? Oh, no, okay, those are full-size bathrooms. Okay, good. Uh, we have tiny bathrooms here as well. Um, well, actually, those ones we could... Pr oh, no, wait. I mean, we could just get rid of those bathrooms and do bigger ones. We could do, like, one, at least one bigger one bathroom, one bigger bathroom here. Okay, you know what, let's do this. All right, so they all have sinks and toilets and sprinklers and heaters and... Co oh, you guys don't have paintings. I mean, not as important, but... There you go. Uh, and they have... Oh, wait. Do you all have clocks? Yeah, okay, good. So they have everything they need now. So that should be better. I don't think we have any other sneaky little bathrooms anywhere. Let me double check. No. Okay. So we all have full-size bathrooms everywhere now. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. But yeah, these have sinks. Okay, no, no. Well, we... So we don't have full-size bathrooms everywhere, but we do have fully functional room. Yeah, that does have a sink. Sometimes when you go to top-down view, you see the sinks like sort of disappear out of view, like clips out for some reason. Um, anyway, let me select these rooms. Because they really should have tiles in them. Uh, but they don't. So let's do that. And then let's go room colors. Floor is just going to be white. Okay, cool. That's a bit better. Right. Okay, so let's go back to the game. So now, like, I guess let's just monitor. I guess. Oh, God. Where are my cleaners? Oh, they, wait. Where are my cleaners? Hello? Are they, they are here. You know what? We might need more. Um. Mm, oh, no. No, no. Maybe not. It's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, I guess I just caught them at a bad time. Sorry guys. And now the other thing was you guys mentioned that I didn't actually hire any receptionists for this building. So we will also do that. So the other receptionists, we've got between 8 and 12. So how many do I need? I need two, only two more. Okay, so if we go one, well, four more, technically. Okay, where are they? Hello? <laughs> Down here. All right, yeah, so we need four. So 8 to 12 and then we need 12 to 4. Okay, so those guys should come and fill in these two desks. Okay, so now we can go back into coloring. Marketing, uh, they're green for money. Yeah. Support is uh, yellow-ish orange for support. App team, I don't know, they can be sort of whatever color we want them to be. Maybe app team, what can app team be? I feel like app team is like, a purpley kind of color? Sure, why not? And color for 3D experts. What's the 3D color? Yellow? Sure. <laughs> 2D visionaries. I don't know. What's the 2D color? Red. We haven't used red. Red's kind of cool. Sound engineers. What what color represents sound? Turquoise. Wait, which is turquoise? There. Like that kind of color. Yeah! Uh, antivirus. Oh, that should be red. Hang on. All right, 2D visionaries can be... Hmm. I've already got an orangey kind of color. I mean, they could be a darker orange. I might I might 
Yeah, that's right. They're, they're all slightly different colors. All right, so then the this team can be red because they're antivirus, and then lawyers because their lawyers can be black. There we go. Cool. Oh, and yeah, the, I think there was, <laughs> was suggested to call them the Law Stars because I was like, they want to they want a dumb team name too for morale purposes. No, they don't get one. All right. Okay, so now let's uh, go through and do all our team colors is what we're supposed to be doing. Let's also speed up the game here because I think we've been spending a lot of time not really getting anything done. So this is all the lockdown. So, oh, hello? Why can't I, um, do, oh, do I, I don't have to be in build mode, do I? No, I don't. I think I just had one too many things selected. So the wall, eight employees called in sixth. Oh, another company finished researching audio before me, man. Wait, hang on. No, didn't we did research it, didn't we? Did we just not have the patent? I don't know. Whatever. I feel like it's just we don't have the patent. All right, so who am I doing? The uh, lockdown. So they're red. Uh oh. No, I don't want to do exterior color. Twelve employees called in sick. Okay. It seems like we're better. All right. So red. You know that bright red is actually fine with this uh, color. Whoops. That should also be red. Oh, no, 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 oh, damn it. Did the exterior. I hate how it always goes back to the exterior. Let's do the interior, please. There we go. All right, so the sound engineers. So those three rooms. Colors, okay. This is great. This is working out well. What are, what are we doing for sound engineers? They're sort of this color. Yeah, look at that. Actually, that's not quite, yeah, that's good. All right, and then now, oh. Okay. And also, that's a lie. They didn't research it. We've already researched it. We're just patenting it. They patented it before us. I guess we can start. We Actually, that's the, that's the thing I was thinking about what we should do. We should get a dedicated research team that will continually research new things, or at least when we can. Um, and see how we go. Anyway, so what's this? 2D visionaries. All of these are going really well. i got to keep an eye on them. So 2D, uh, it's orange, okay, which is, oh, damn it, that's the exterior again. Man, I'm not good at this. Interior. Burglars are looking to loot my premises. They went home empty-handed. Great. All right, so then, uh, who have we got over here? 3D experts. Uh, there's a lot of notifications going on, and I'm not really looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sound engineers, we're using, oh wait, I don't know, sorry, what am I talking about sound engineers? It's just 3D experts. Oh, what is going on? All right, 3D experts, yellow. No, oh, that's exterior, damn it. Come on, man. Well, I wish I'd stop going to exterior constantly. <laughs> All right, and then, so that's all those rooms. Yeah, I feel like we maybe do need to change the floor because I don't really see the walls that well. That's fair enough. All right, whatever. Let's leave that for now. Oh, this is done. Let's uh, pattern that. I don't even know what that was. I probably should have looked at it. 2D 2000 we've almost got as well. Which is pretty cool. Uh, these are all still doing quite well, except for Vault 3. Not that good, but that's all right. Uh, let's hope no one else gets 2D because we've nearly got it. Wait, I think we're good. Five employees called in sick. Okay, so I definitely think there's less people sick now, and I'm wondering if that is the bathroom. Actually, you know what? I want to see if people are using these sinks. Oh, yeah, they totally did. Sweet, I just saw them. All right, so we've done all of that. That's good. I think we need a research team. I kind of want to get... Maybe we should do, like, a research building over here. Well, actually, hang on. What are we using over here? Room labels. Let's have a look. Lawyers are all on this floor. That's fine. App team is over here, and the support and marketing... We might need a bigger support team, actually. Uh, six, seven, we've got, still got 681 bugs that aren't fixed on that, for example. And I think it's because, well, do we not, I don't think we really have, how big is our support team? I think it's literally just this room, which is not big enough. Uh, it's only 16 people. Yeah, we need to get a bunch of programmers that can actually fix bugs. So we probably want a bigger, so I think what we want to do Bigger support team, we're probably going to need bigger marketing. I think what we can do, though, is if we get a second building like this over here, we can maybe extend extend one floor to be completely, like, marketing over here or completely support, and then the opposite in the other building. Um, so what we'll do... 
Oh, I was going to clone the building, but I don't think that's actually the best idea. Because if I select the entire building, it actually selects all of that. Which is slightly annoying. Uh, so we need to just select... And I don't want all the servers either. So may... Oh no, it's going to be too hard to not clone the entire building though. I mean, we don't really need a lobby floor. Because this floor is completely empty. So maybe what we do... Let's clone this floor. Uh, let's select... Floor. It's just this floor. And then we go... Right, just jump into build mode. And then we go, uh, clone that. Rotate it. And let's just put on the ground floor, maybe. If we do this, okay. Yeah, no ventilation, that's fine. And then all we're gonna do to make it look the same as this building is just add a few angles on this. So, like, here... Oh, hang on. Delete this. Whoop, whoop. Delete that. Add this. And along the front. I don't know that this is going to work, actually. Yeah, it's been one unit apart. Hmm. Alright, well, we might be able to do the middle bit easily. Otherwise, then we're going to have to do some other... Okay, so we can definitely do that, which is fine. Okay, let's merge those two together. That's fine. Okay, cool. So that goes there. Uh, doing this bit is going to be a little bit more annoying. I'm not even quite sure how to do that. Maybe if we do this, and then delete that room. Hang on. Delete that room. Does this work? Yeah, and then we just combine these. Okay, cool. Yeah, that works. Alright, so we gotta go... Oh, there's like a door there as well. Alright, well, hopefully this doesn't mess too many things up. There you go. And then we're gonna do this, and then complete, and then merge. Alright, cool. So that goes there. Uh, and then we'll just do the same thing over on this building. So we're gonna go door and door. So this building, I guess, is technically slightly different because it has... Uh, a f development first floor. It's not really going to be a development first floor. It's going to be like a one single team first floor. But we'll just combine it uh, to be one team. That's good. Is there anything else we need to do? Not really. I mean, the I know the color is different, so maybe we should do that. Uh, let's go... Can I just grab the color on this? Is this the color? If I, just, if I now select this entire building... Okay, that's just this, which is good. Room colors, exterior, apply that, because that's our ground floor. Then we should just be able to clone the second floor. I hope. We'll have to do something. We'll have to fix up this little room. Actually, we'll probably need to clone this floor so the stairs and everything are in the right spot. Although I don't know if we need a, a bespoke floor with this like hallway on it. We really just need this kind of floor. I guess we're just going to have to change the lounge. That's probably fine. All right, let's select this floor. And then let's clone it. Move it over here. Like that. Alright, we'll have to do the stairs later. So what... Okay, yes, it's a ventilation. That's fine. And then we just really just clone that floor again, I guess. Because it's the same as this floor here, right? Oh no, these actually have an office in them though. Hmm, hang on. So there's an office here. So this could be one team. Oh yeah, this... Oh no, yeah, that's fine. I guess it's just the other way around, is it? Because there's no office here. This has an office, and then these two... Oh, because I get individual teams. Okay, I see. And then we need meeting rooms. I mean, this this building really does not need to be as tall as this other one, I don't think. At least not yet. Uh, Because we need... So let's just say one... This floor here is, like, support. Then we have a research t development team. That's kind of it for now. Though, I mean, these floors are they're pretty small, like... I wonder if we could maybe maybe we could do some new design work on this to like combine this whole space maybe I don't know because it, it kind of hmm. <laughs> I don't know we don't have a lot of room 16 16 yeah so 32 people per floor this is not bad oh, no it's probably fine okay it's probably fine uh, I don't know if we need another floor though should, I mean we might as well, I was gonna say should we just get one anyway we like we might as well right. Top floor? Well, it's not the top floor. The same floor as the other ones, just... Alright, let's do this. Whoops. And put this in here. And then, maybe we'll just do one more. So maybe this building will be one shorter than the other one? Uh, all we gotta do is just add, like, a little connection here as well. Oh, and you guys are saying I can actually change this grass color, which I was... so sure that we couldn't, which is interesting. 
Uh, so if we do this, apparently go room construction material. Um, you just do this. Huh. I really did not know that. Well, clearly I didn't know that because I kept saying you couldn't do it. I wish it, can I do that flooring? Um, I don't oh wait, you can. Sweet! <laughs> oh, and there's even different fences? Oh. Actually, you know what? I did know the fences. I don't know why I left it. Let's just go like that. Maybe this. I do kind of like that. It's a bit industrial. It's kind of nice, maybe. I don't know. Let's, whoops. Let's change uh, the floor to be a little bit more gray, because I think white is a bit much. Yeah! Can I set this as a default apply style? Can I save style? Go walk way. Wall way? Walk way. So then I, if I click on this one and click on this one. Oh. There you go. Sweet. Yeah! I mean, now it's like less green in this place. If I could put trees on it too, that'd be cool. Anyway, I mean, that walkway makes more sense to me anyway. All right, so that's that. Then let's go up a floor and then we're going to do, let's do meeting rooms uh, on this building as well. Uh, so let's go, nope. Duplicate. Go down. Rotate this to be here. Very nice. So yeah, this building is going to be one level shorter. I mean, it's really not that hard to add stuff in if we need to. So I think it should be okay. Let's duplicate this. We also need to do a basement on this building. That'll go there. Yeah, we also need a basement. So let's go clone. I guess it has to go here. Like that. Alright, so that should be good. I don't know what's going on in this room. Not enough heating, really? It may be deleted stuff. I don't, yeah, I'm not seeing any, um, any things in this room. So let's go, like, although it says that it has it. I think it, I think it disappeared, though. Yeah, we've, we kind of had that problem before. All right, so now we're going to go back into all these rooms. Because I think none of these stairs are going to be, yeah, all these rooms are facing the same way with the way the, the stairs are supposed to be laid out here. So let me just delete these things. Then we can put them back the way they're supposed to be. So this, this is our fire escape route, basically. So we need to go into uh, stairs. We're going to do this. So how, how was I doing this? Um, so we start like that. Although we had downstairs bathrooms in the other building. This one does not. I guess it's fine. Doesn't really need it. I guess it doesn't really matter what side we start on. Just the other side has to be the opposite. So we can get like a nice stairwell going. I'm not quite sure why I have my grid so much smaller right now. And there's nothing above that, so we don't really need to go up anymore. But I will, just so in case I need to, I guess. Well, there's no doors here. Hmm. Let's add some doors. Okay, can I reset this grid as well? Cool. Alright, so let's get a door. Here and here. So then there is a fire escape in this building. This one, I guess, doesn't have one from this floor. So there's that. Oh, these bathrooms don't... Those ones there are too small. We might need to add sinks into those. That'll probably help us out too. Okay, so that's good. Then we need to like duplicate these things. Duplicate. So one there, one there, one there, and one there. Well, we don't need to do this. This is purely just aesthetic. I guess we don't need to do it on the ground floor either. So we just select these things and move them. There you go. And then we want to get these benches. I guess some of them here. And then, I don't, oh, this is a missing one there too. I don't, where, how did we do these ones? <laughs> how did I do this floor? Oh, I did them that way. Oh. But it doesn't even fit. I don't understand how I, how I laid that out. Hmm. You know what? You don't need a bench, it's fine. Okay, so now we've added, what, two more doors here. Uh, we need to add a couple doors up here. Uh, I think uh, we've I think we've only added two external doors because this is not and this is enclosed in my building, so that should be fine. And that is it? I don't think we have a door on the back of this building because I know this building had the back door. This one doesn't. Although maybe it should because we do have all the parking over here too. Nah, I'm not gonna add a back door to this one just because this one is kind of they can come around the front. Whatever. This building has one. Okay, so we need to get two more security guards around the clock. Uh, let's go to room labels. We should probably assign this building so random people don't use it. So let's say the ground floor is going to be the uh, the support team. 
Whoa, it has it all in here as well. Look at this. Sweet. So we're going to get support team. Uh, it's going to be these ground floor rooms here. And then I'll, I guess I'll say in here specifically limit to leaders. Uh, and then we go here. This can be, I guess, well, this is going to be a new team. And then it's going to be like a research team. Do we have an extra floor. Maybe the research team can be two levels. Oh, this has a lot of offices. I guess I cloned a different room on this one. Hmm. Maybe I'll get rid of this office. So we'll combine these rooms, delete this, get out of here. Oh, I guess I could have left that. Let's leave that. Okay. Uh, so then these, well, th this will be a research team. And then this floor here is going to be... I don't know, what was this floor going to be? <laughs> uh, so we've got support. Marketing will then, I guess, take over this floor. I guess it can also just be research, or it can be a big, it can be more support. Maybe what we'll do, let's do support, and then the ground floor can be limit to service. So this is the, sub oh, this room is not selected. So the support team is going to grow over two floors. So we're going to have the service people down the bottom. So this is going to be, so let's select this floor of the building, and we're going to select, uh, select, in selected room. Oh no. Damn it. <laughs> How do you do it again? You go. Yeah, I think I selected the wrong thing. Like this. Select furniture types and select. I just select all the desks. I want the freaking. I want this. Although they are already phones, so it's probably fine. <laughs> uh, these ones. Uh, probably change that. So let's change these. Alright, so those are going to be phones. Or not? Oh yeah, they are. They just chain. They just don't look like phones from there. Okay, so those are going to be phones on this ground floor. So this is the service. And the second floor, this is still going to be the support team. Uh, we don't need that leader office anymore either. Maybe I'll get rid of that. So we're going to go combine these, delete this and that, and we'll leave that. That's fine. So select all this. This is now also support team. Switch team, support, but it's going to be this room and this room are going to be support Programmer, so these are gonna be the bug fixing people. What's wrong with this room? Not enough ventilation uh, We do have ventilation But the room is it's exactly 100 meters squared, so it really should be fine But I, I feel like it might technically be a smidge bigger because these uh, can do 100 uh, square meters So I feel like oh there was actually multiple things in this room anyway. I think it is glitched uh, As it likes to do from time to time. All right, so that's better over there. And then this room is looking fine as well, I think. Yeah, they're all over there. That's good. Okay, so that's the programmers. Then this floor, I guess, will be the research team, which we don't even have yet. So we should probably do that. Anyway, so the support team, let's select all their rooms, including their bathrooms, because we're going to change all the interior walls to the support team colors. It'll be wonderful. And all those. Okay. So we're going to go color. Uh, I don't know what the support team is. Oh, they're like this sort of yellowy orange, aren't they? They're sort of more this color. Oh! Exterior wall again. <laughs> uh, interior. It's gonna be... It's more yellowy orange, wasn't it? Like sort of a golden kind of color. Now, I've just messed up all the exterior walls down here too, so we, <laughs> we gotta do that again. Select, uh, floor. Is that just this one? It is. Gonna go colors, exterior is gonna be that. Cool. All right, so that's all good. That's all the support now. Um, so they'll go over here. Then I guess, so this is research team. We need to go back into, into here. We need to go manage teams, new team, research. All right, we'll say, oh, I took a screenshot. <laughs> R and D. Uh, yeah, they're gonna be, you know, they can be white. We don't have a white colored team yet anyway. All right, so let's go R&D. They'll be here till 6 p.m. I don't even know. I guess you need... Wait, so if we research, who do we even need to do research? Like... Okay, so 2000. Apparently, own, no one owns that, apparently. And this is 2001. So you need, for example, required 13 level 3 system designers. Jesus. Okay, so the R&D team looks like it's going to be pretty big and going to have to be pretty high skilled. Um, it is possible to do this, though. It is definitely possible. We just got to hire those people. 
and probably manually because I feel like the game won't do it for me. So we'll come back to that. But for now, to stop people going in here, like you, we're going to have to assign the rooms. Otherwise, they're going to use them because they, they, the AI likes to do that. They like to use rooms. Um, all right. They like to use rooms that they're not assigned to. If, if there's a free room, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go work in that office with no one in it. I mean, like, who wouldn't, you know, <laughs> if there's no one else in there. Switch team. So this is going to be R&D. Get out. And this is going to be R&D leaders. Uh, leaders. Okay, so that goes there. And we got the support team, support team. And then this can be, I guess... Uh, one of these can be support, one of them can be R&D, I guess, right? R&D. Doesn't really matter. And this can be support. Okay, and then both of these are going to be meeting rooms. Okay, so we got two meeting rooms there. Uh, support, I guess I'll take off of this. So this is now going to become marketing space. So we're going to expand marketing over to here. Uh, so this will be switch team to marketing. Oh, I didn't take off support. Whoops. No more support now. Get out. So that's a marketing floor. Uh, app team is still there. Lawyers are all down there. That's good. Okay, so that's good. Marketing plus three is not accurate. So let's actually switch support off of that. Cool. And those are meeting rooms. I said, yeah, those are meeting rooms. I didn't set any of these rooms as lounges though, which I need to do. So let's do that. The limit room usage lounge. There you go. Okay, cool. Now this building doesn't have a reception, which I'm quite frankly, I don't really care about. So let's not do that. Uh, but we do need to do cleaners and everything in this building, which is uh, it's a whole other thing again. We're going to go back and do that again. So let's select this floor. Actually, let's have a look at where's my room groups. So first floor. Okay, we're going to... So we've got the X building over there. We've got this other building, which now... And then we've got the warehouse. So we need a new room group. This is going to be... Uh, I don't know. This is the third. No, it's actually the fourth building. Um, I was going to say four ground floor. Sure. Add selected rooms to group. Oh, add selected rooms to group. So there's nine rooms. That's this floor. That's good. Oh, actually, I should probably also, whoops, also add this one. The so ten floors should actually be the same as the other building, right? Ground floor has seven. Oh, no, it shouldn't be because that's got completely different. Never mind. Um, so that's that. And then we're going to go to this floor. It should also be separate from every other building, which is good. Uh, so we're going to go new room group for first floor. <laughs> Add selected rooms to group. Oh. <laughs> I put them in the wrong one. It's fine. All right. And then this floor, I'm going to have to do this one manually. I always going to select the entire complex. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rooms should be what we've got selected. A uh, new room group for second floor. Actually select it, add it to there. Great. And then the top floor, which is not connected to anything. So we can select entire floor and we can also select this floor. New room group for third floor and add to selected group. Now, how many cleaners did we have per the other building? Because that seemed to work pretty well. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, cleaning. Two per floor. Okay. That's pretty good. We can do that. Apparently those come in 8 a.m. Everyone else comes in at 10 for some reason. I'm not sure why. But sure. All right. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got four floors. Then you guys, oh my god, this is so like confusing. All right, assign rooms for ground floor. <laughs> All right, assign rooms for now. The reason we do this, in case you've forgotten, um, is because if you have a giant complex of buildings, the AI cleaners don't really know where to go. They kind of all just go to the same place at one time. So if we specifically say which rooms they should be working on, they do a better job. And I need more security too. So let me have a look. Let me order by type. So security, we're going to need six more. So one, two, three, four, five, six. They all added down here, which is fine. So we're going to get two at 8 a.m. And we need two at 4 p.m. 
I'm gonna need an additional... Wait. Did I just change one that I wasn't... Maybe we need that one. Oh yeah. Okay, so I need so that's 4 p.m. So I need to keep these two at 8 a.m. and then these two can be 12 a.m. Because I was confused that I had too many, but yeah, there we go. All right, so that should be the entire complex covered with security again. Otherwise, we would have had two doors that weren't covered. All right, let me turn off these labels, please. Please. Yep. Okay, yeah, sure. Cool, except all enclosed. Great. <laughs> so who do we have now? We've got, okay, a couple of security guards there. One on that building, one on that door. I'm just checking all the doors. There's no doors there, no doors there. A door there. Just, if every door is covered, then that means we have enough security. And then we should have them up here as well at the gates. And over here. Cool. All right, so everything is covered by the looks of it, which is good news. Now... So these, all these things are slowly getting there as well. Uh, is there anything we can stop marketing? I mean, yeah, probably could stop marketing Vault 3, but it's still selling, so that's fine. All right, so uh, support. I need to have a look at this again, because where are we now? Support is on this floor. We can have up to... Well, actually, this is programmers. So we can have up to 31. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Why is there only 31? Shouldn't it be 32? Did I deselect one chair? Hang on, how many are in this room? 15. Why is there 15 in this room? I thought these rooms are all 16. Huh. I mean, I guess I could, I could easily add more, but whatever. All right, so I can add 15 programmers. Well, actually, no, hang on. How many programmers do I have? I've got a few. By the looks of it, it looks like I've got like three, maybe? All right, let's have a look. What room have I got selected right now? Because it looks like... Oh, it's a warehouse. Okay, that's fine. All right, so let's have a look. So there's a support team. Let's go HR management. We're hiring six programmers and nine servers. Okay, cool. So what we can actually do is hire 31 programs. <laughs> and we can hire... I don't know how many of these guys. Let's have a look. Um, and... Oh, and 31 servers as well. Okay. There you go. So we can hire a whole lot more people for this team. Like a whole lot more. So that team should be massive now. Let's have a look. Uh, let's go over here. 62 employees on the support team. That should really be no problem. So we've still got some... Uh, well, those are fine, actually. Oh, you know what? I was looking at those, and I realized that the whole time yeah, we actually had fixed most of them. So these are the verified. We fixed... There's only, like, there's 200 left on that. That one's got a few, but it wasn't nearly as many as I thought it was. But anyway, we've got loads of support now, so... We could also start contracting out our support team to work for other companies, so that's something we could do. So the R&D team is there, so now what we're going to do is go over here for the marketing team. Let me get rid of one of these offices, because we don't need two. Let's just do that. There you go, guys. So marketing can now have... how many people? So we got all those. And we got all these. We're going to have 30 people. I don't know why all these room numbers are so inconsistent of how many people we can have, but whatever. The marketing, let's go uh, HR management. Now 30. There you go. Let's get those people in. How many employees do we have now? A lot. <laughs> uh, employees. All. Oh, 315. Cool. <laughs> A lot of employees. They're still making money though, so that's good. So we don't have the R&D team yet, but I'll, I'll do that later because, I mean, it's going to take me a while. I'm going to have to go through and manually do that. All right, let's actually get these uh, programs done because we've kind of not really got a lot of progress. Well, I mean, we have. We built a whole new building again. I mean, we cloned one anyway. But um, I would like to actually release new software. It's kind of a little complex now. This is great. We've got new employees. Do we have enough parking still? I guess so. It's not actually full, so I think we do. We might need more cleaners. Does anyone clean this? Because uh, this should be on X third floor, right? I don't even know why that gets dirty, to be honest. It's outside in the rain. I mean, I know it would get dirty in real life, but like... Still, add... There, 11. Clean that. <laughs> we might need to get some more cleaners for this building. Well, we'll see, we'll see if they can handle that, because I guess that, that maybe was never cleaned. In there. All right, so these are all in their fourth iteration. Uh, Vault 3 is pretty much well and truly dead, so I'm actually going to end marketing on that. The other things are still going pretty well. Uh, not having the socialization needs, man. 
Well, go socialize then. That's not my fault. So is this building being cleaned? It's only 9 a.m. So I guess we don't really know yet. Oh yeah, they're, they're cleaning. All those guys are in there. All these support people are in there. So this is the programming floor, right? Yeah, so the programmers have stuff to do. The actual support agents, not really that much. There's not a lot of tickets at the moment. Uh, R&D floor is empty, which is no surprise. Vault 4 is actually nearly ready to go. Um, which is cool. So we can nearly actually develop that. Oh yes, the bridge is clean now. That's good. Because <laughs> that was gross. <sighs> we have some deals. Um, we got some hosting deals, some printing deals. We can, do, we can do all these, right? I mean, what's our capacity for printing 3 million copies a month? Yeah, we can do the printing deals. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Um, and 890,000 by October? Sure. We'll do all of those. Cool. We could do some hosting as well if we wanted, but yeah, we can definitely do printing. We got a nice big print warehouse out the back. Oh, yes. Yeah, kicking into gear now. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So this is nearly done. Go develop. Uh, oh, let's go real quick. Let's mark it. Let's announce. So where are we? Hang on. Let's have a look. So upcoming releases is here. Let's have a look. So release date. We've got an antivirus here. And another one here. There's a lot this year, actually. <laughs> What's our reputation for antivirus? Pretty good. So we'd probably have a good chance of doing well no matter what. It's only March. Uh, and this is going real quick. So I think we could probably push it out between these two if we wanted. I don't know if that's the best idea. But we could probably do that. Hmm. Because I don't want to hold it any longer than it needs to be. Maybe we could go, let's have a look. So October, we go market, release date. So if we go, so October and May, maybe if we go like September. Could we even do that? I don't know, let's try. And then we're going to do press release. Marketing on that. Come on, marketing. Why are you that slow for? There we go. Release that. There you go. Oh, yeah. Look at those followers. And Audio Magic 3 is nearly ready to be promoted as well. Magic OS is actually not doing so bad itself either, which is pretty cool. All right. So we got this whole new building over here. Well, whole clone building. How's my server space going? It's probably fine. Only four employees are sick. Oh, these have colors too. Look at this. What? Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't. No, I need colors in it, but I mean, I like it. Um, oh, is this? Yeah, develop. How long is that going to take? Oh, that's quick too. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Upcoming releases, audio, audio tool is what you need to look at now. There's none until December 2003. All right, so that's fine. So let's mark Let's maybe not try and rush this release date. Let's go maybe November this year. November 2002. Uh, ooh, seven months. I mean, you know what? I'm saying let's not rush these things, but I think we probably are rushing them. Not a lot of time, really, to do these. <laughs> but I think we can do it. Like, considering how quick they're going, I think we actually can do these. All right, so both of these are going pretty well. Got some more deals, some print jobs. 4.8 million by December. We can do that. Easy. We do 3 million a month. We can probably do that as well by December. Sure. Um, I should probably print my own. Oh, Coast of Tycoon 3. Sweet. Oh, that's one of my favorite games, except it also had Roller in the name. I think we can do all of those. And then I was going to say, we should probably start printing our own, uh, which I can't do until beta. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. Yeah, look at look at my little minion. Oh, well, there's no one there now, but there was. Wait till they come back and then look at my little minions. Oh, we should probably hype these actually. Mark it. Right, just so we don't lose followers. Oh God, these colors. I I kind of underestimated how obnoxious these colors were going to be when we, whenever we click on a menu anywhere. So that's great. That's just great. All right, so let's just minimize the hype. All right, so that should help. We're still gaining followers. We'll do another press release when we get to beta phases. This one is coming out in September or in May. We don't have a lot of time on this. Oh, this is probably done. Oh no, not quite. Nearly. I'm gonna need you guys to kind of hurry up on this. Let's do a review on that as well. Let's develop this. That's also going really quick. <laughs> Man, all these pieces of stuff that go so quick. All right, so 3D editor, December 2003. Maybe we'll give ourselves a bit more time on this one. 
market announced release date. So we're gonna go to 2003 at least, because I think we might need time. Maybe go May will give us a year. Yeah. All right, it says market, press, release. Get on that. All right, so this is looking pretty good. We're gonna get this done by September. Uh, there's a lot of, see now there's a lot of stuff going on. This is where uh, getting the um, project management to help out where it does the game, you can hire people in the game to do all this sort of automatically. Uh, can help because there's a lot, I've got a lot going on. There's a lot on my plate. You don't understand. You don't understand. All right, let's develop that. Uh, so the press release is still being written. It's taking a while. So we're in June. I think we're going to be pretty on track for this. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to my review of this? It was already 9.6. Okay, and that was a while ago I did that, so that's good. So press release, release that. Uh, no one really cares about that, surprisingly. Is it because we don't have any? Oh, yeah, we don't really have recognition in that. I guess it's kind of new for us. So this is nearly done. Next month, we'll probably just chuck it into beta. We could probably even just do it now. Um, that's okay. So we need to market. Oh, yeah, the 2D editor as well. Let's have a look. So 2D editor, not coming out until December 2004. All right, so we really don't need to rush this either. So let's do... Uh, a release date of June. So we're just going to do one year. June 2003. That should be fine. We're going to say market. Press release. There we go. And then we should probably also market and hype. Just to keep the hype up. Whoops. And I'll do the same on this as well. Hype. There we go. That's the press release. Keep that open. All right, cool. So this should be good. <sighs> All right, so everyone's coming into work. We're still making money, apparently, which is good. We're a $1.1 billion company. Not bad. This is nearly done. I forgot about this, actually. This is really taking its time, though. The last little bit. A little lockdown team. There's not many people that are able to work on this, I guess. There's like one person that's qualified for whatever they're doing right now on the system. All right, this is the last day. We're going to... Let's just promote it. Let's go into beta. <laughs> because... We're not going to get any more time on that. Uh, so give that to marketing. Uh, where's my other press release? Release that for photo magic. How's everything else going? This is nearly done too, so we can probably promote that soon. Okay, just kind of, I'm trying to keep track of everything here. It's kind of difficult. <laughs> so press release. This is getting bugs fixed. We can start printing this. Let's go. So which is the one that I want to do again? Maximum. Print how many copies you would like to have in stock before the print job is paused. Okay, so this pause and limit is cancelled. Okay, so we'll just do a pause. So we'll say 500,000 maybe. Because we're never going to sell more than a million in a day. So that should be fine. So we'll do that. They'll start printing that. And then we'll get a bunch of those in stock already, which would be good. Office Magic is nearly ready to go as well. A lot of these are nearly ready as well, which is good. Okay. So July. Uh, so we need to get to... September 2002, we are losing followers on that, so we're going to be careful. But we are getting a new press release, so this should actually help us out a lot. Uh, so this can be promoted. I'm going to release that. And now we need to do another press release on this guy. And then we need to print this as well to a maximum of 500,000. All right. Cool. All right. And then what else? What else am I looking at here? This is <laughs> this is so good. There's so much going on. All right. So the beta, we're just fixing a bunch of bugs pretty much as long as we want, really. Till September. Well, not as long as we want. Yeah, till September. Pretty good amount of bugs there, though. Release that. And then this is looking pretty good, too. That's looking pretty good. So we got plenty of time with these guys. So it's really these two we need to focus on. This actually might... Oh, that's nearly done. All right, so... Let's release a... No. Oh. <laughs> I thought there'd be a confirm button. I just, just released it. Ah. <laughs> uh. I mean, it's not that bad. It'll probably be fine, but yeah, that was not supposed to happen. Um, all right. Uh, I was gonna say, let's release a press build, not let's release the whole thing. Where is the, wait, what is this? Get my releases. Where's like release date? Oh, here we go. 
Vault 4. Oops. We've already got prominent marketing, though, so that's fine. And we already have a bunch of copies in stock, right? Yeah, so let's go... Oh, jeez. All right, let's go. How much are we doing for a budget on these things? Like, 100,000? It's probably fine. I don't know why core team is always predis like predefined as that. All right, let's go up here. What do we have? Windows Simulator is making zero dollars. We should probably make another one of those. We do need a game team as well. Let's stop marketing all these old things because they're not really making money anymore. Ever since we, especially since we announced the new releases. 681 out of 681. Let's cancel support. Yes. If everything is fixed, then we'll be good. That's not all fixed. That's all fixed. Let's cancel support. Uh, let's have a look. That's all fixed. Yeah, definitely getting those a bigger support team helps out. That's all fixed as well. But we have and we have a new vault as well, so we can use that. And that's all fixed. I know there's a lot of active users on these, but you don't really need to have it if you've got um you already have 46,000 users on this. You don't really need to have it if um everything's fixed. So you can sort of just get rid of it. Okay, so back down here now. I guess now we're focusing, we're shifting focus to November. Is this guy here? So we're gonna go not release. Jeez, all right. Can I add a do a press build? Can I add a um I feel like there was an option for that and have have a um a confirmation or something? What do I say? Back up. Can I like have a confirmation before ask about print this is just printing and marketing. Where's like ask about releasing on release? <laughs> Alright, so just don't click the release button because that's just gonna mess everything up. All right, so now my, I guess my vault team is not doing anything, right? So we got to do a new one. We're going to go antivirus, vault four. It's going to be vault five. And we should be able to use fast API. No. Oh, we didn't make one because we didn't have everything released yet. That's right. So hang on. Do we even have everything released yet? No, because we need a 2D editor. That was kind of the pro Okay, maybe that will just wait. We could also just add them onto other projects if we want. Or they can just have a snooze. We could add them... No, because they're all specialized in exactly what they do. So let's not add them onto anything else. Let's just let them have a break. It's fine. Don't worry, guys. So, so this should really be done. I mean, we don't really need to wait for it to be completely done, but we're going to. Uh, so November, it's September currently. That's fine. Ooh, a little frame right there. 46,000 users, 2.8 million. Are we going to earn more next month? Uh, 3.5. We did add a little bit more. Not bad. Marketing. Uh, went home empty handed. That's good. Marketing uh, is widespread. It's not unavoidable. All right, how are we looking? So this can be developed, which is good. And then we're going to go market. Actually, let's have a look. So offer software. Upcoming releases. There's a lot of operating systems. We've got a lot of competition there. December 2003. So maybe we can just do October 2003. How long is it going to take? Let's have a look. Oh, that's pretty quick. Uh, so say October 2006. <laughs> Lol, no. October 2003. It'll give, us, give ourselves a year. Press release. Let's get on that. Um, so where are we now? October. And then we've got this next month. Well, I guess that needs to be released. The wait, does it, I always forget. Does it need to be released on the month? I guess it needs to be released. On, yeah, like next month. All right, so this can be promoted as well. Um, market press release on this. It's two. Let's get that going. All right, so we're making a little bit of money. We did lose money for a little bit there. Let's release that for Office Magic. We got 15 followers on it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is nearly ready to go too. Oh, we also need to print. Do we? Oh no, we did print that. Do we? We need to print this. Maximum of five hundred thousand. We can probably cancel these deals, actually. Oh wait, how do I stop these? Cancel. These are all really old products, which I don't think we're still selling that much of. Let's keep the new ones in there. Cool. All right, so that's good. Uh, so this month, we need to release. Um, so much stuff. This one. Audio Magic 3. They're still fixing bugs, so that's pretty good. I'm happy about that. We'll let them do that for a little while longer. Release that press release. And let's just go ahead and release this now. Uh, do you want to start a marketing campaign? Yes. Budget 100,000. And no, we don't need to print. 
Okay, so there they should be doing that now. So let's get the marketing up there and then we need the support is also going to go up the top here so we can see how that's going. So Vault 4 is there. Audio Magic 3 is there. Probably just minimize those two. And then uh, we're hyping those. Office Magic, we should probably also do a bit of hyping on that. <laughs> it's really good. This can probably be promoted. I mean, really should be. Although there's really no rush on 3D Magic because... It doesn't have to go out till May. And this is not till October, so we've got a lot of time. This one's June. There you go. We didn't even need to rush it. Uh, let's go do a press release on this to let people know that it has progressed. And they should be excited about it. Be very, very excited about it. We're about to find out how much... Oh, 7.8 million. Look at that. Uh, yeah, sure. So 7.8 million we just made from Audio Magic 3, which is great. Again, I can't really make a new one until we get the 2D editor out there. Although by this time now, the 2D tool's really updated. So... Hmm. Because it has 2000, the year 2000 tech and we're in December 2002. I wonder if we should just push it way forward. And just start a new one. Are we printing this already? I think so. Uh... No. Oh, okay. We should probably print it. Print. And we are? Hello? Photo magic. Oh, yeah. Was, I, for some reason I thought it was called 2D magic. No, photo magic. We are printing it. Okay. Let's just release it. <laughs> Let's just do it and see what happens. Yeah. Hey, guys. We decided to release this about like a year early. Well, it was like six months early. So we're kind of done with it. We're like, yeah, it's probably good. Um. So that's fine. Where's the support for it? Oh, there. All right, 60, no, 86,000 users, 143,000 users. That's good. Okay, then we need to make a new 2D tool right now. <laughs> All right, we also need to queue up some new software anyway. So let's go uh, 2D editor. Oh, we need the new tech levels though. We haven't, re oh, we got to research them. <laughs> Good about that. This is why we need the research team, so they can be doing this. We got 2001. 2002 2D. Okay, let's get the 2D team on that. No, we don't need everyone. Let's just try doing the 2D team. Let's get them researching that. Does that do it? Yeah. Okay, so 2D visionaries are doing that. Then everyone else can at least now use the 2D tool to make um, the new stuff. So if we go antivirus, and we go, ex no, new framework, and we go existing IP... And we just do all of this. And then we select the stuff that we need. SCM is going to be SCM. $90.20, I guess. Choose tool. Um, hang on, release. Photo Magic 4. Now we're... No! <laughs> Did not mean to click that button. Now we're no longer limited by tech level anywhere. Ooh, tech level 2001. Nice. Uh, then we can put it on all of these. Is that worth it, though? on active users not really maybe not those two really just really just the one to be honest the other the others are not that good but we'll do three um cool i'm going to new this is going to be v1 really nondescript name and then that can go there to the same marketing strategy as we always do there's not going to be the app team it's going to be the lockdown team lockdown team publisher none all right, develop. All right, so they can do that. And they're going to make a framework, which is good. So then what else did we release? Audio Magic. Okay, so now we can do a new audio tool. Whoops. Uh, it's not going to be in-house. Audio Magic 3. Great. Now, did we make one for this? Or did we not make any? No, there hasn't been a framework since 1995. So this is going to be... Uh, wait, what are we calling this? Audio Magic. AM1, even though it's technically four, but the, the framework is number one, you know? So that's fine. Uh, this is on the wrong team quite clearly, so... I don't know why... Can you just... <laughs> uh, sound engineers. There we go. Man, these colors are really... Yeah, I, I don't know that I'm, I'm really that keen on these colors anymore <laughs> that I chose because they're really obnoxious. All right, so these guys here and that one there. That's all we need. Just do a little bit... Oh. 
I mean, we could add some more stuff in. The thing is, we don't have to do this stuff, and I always say that, but then it's like, well, I guess for gameplay purposes, we could just add more stuff in. Why don't we add... Um, note editor, spectrum analyzer, rock, multi-track editing. Maybe that. There you go, let's do that. Approx two years. I mean, it's the same as before, so whatever. Um, cool. And then we're going to be making a framework, so then we can use it again. Tech level's all at 2,000. Someone's retired. Let's develop... Oh, I haven't selected operating systems or a 2D tool. I haven't done anything. My bad. Let's go there. And operating systems by active users. It's just going to be pretty much those two. Develop. Uh, as soon as mine is in alpha, we can start developing software for it as well. So there's that. Which we should probably look into. Okay, so we're doing those two things. Uh, what else did we release? We also released... We got, oh, okay, actually, no, we're doing three, yeah, we got the three teams that weren't doing anything doing something now, because we got the uh, the 2D guys working on research, uh, antivirus working on a new one, audio team working on a new one, and then we still have the OS team working, which is the core team. Man, they have not started that 3D work at all. Uh, they're really putting that off. And then we've got the Office software team doing that. The app team is doing what? Oh, they're doing the Office software, that's right. Office software is the app team. Sorry. Um, 3D team is still doing this. Cool, all right, I mean, that's pretty good. I might leave this part here just because it's been quite long already and we've released some software that's done quite well. I think what we might want to do is I wonder if it's going to be worth eventually just not releasing our software at all until we do new operating systems. But then the other problem with that is that all of our teams are going to be doing nothing for a long time because the operating system takes ages. I guess we could add everyone onto it, but then it's just like, I don't think it really makes it that more efficient if you just add everyone into one task. I've never really found it that good to do that. Um, the other thing is they could obviously just do some research. They could do stuff like that. I don't know, my lawyers are doing nothing now as well just because they've been sitting around for years. How's everything doing by the way? 4.5 million, 5.1 million, 2.4 million. Looking pretty good. Support is all looking pretty good. Support team is nailing it. Like, they've got no issues at all. It's great. Look at these beautiful profits. Let's have a little chart. Oh, yeah, they added stats in here now. So this is new, actually, which is kind of hard to read this. I guess because we've got print ship. Let's get rid of that stat. Server bound. Get rid of that stat. Hired. Oh, my God. We hired 68 people on one day just there. Man, these are the these are also terrible colors. Really hard to see. I, think, I guess because it's... I guess because they only added stats... In a recent update, so we only have stats from there. <laughs> in my game. Can I just drag this? No, I have to scroll to zoom in. Okay. There we go. I mean, the gr bright green is not a good color. You can barely see that. Sick day. Look at these sick days. We had 26 there. Actually, that's not too bad. Oh, man, I wish we had the sick day stat for um, <laughs> when we had like 80 in one day. <laughs> uh, that's cool, though. Uh, so that's our regular chart, and then I got a sheet here. Pretty good. We're doing pretty well, I think. We've got, hang on, how much have we got in here in our insurance? We had a few people retire, but they should have been replaced. Oh, you died. That's sad. Uh, we've got 479 million in our savings account. Our company is worth only 1.09 billion now. It used to be worth 1.1. We've kind of gone down a bit. I guess because we had a few months where we lost a bit of money. Uh, let's put in 403 million. Because that will also just get us interest. Oh, the other thing we should do, and I guess we did, we did buy into a few companies, is just buy more stocks in companies. We are we are the biggest company, right? Oh no, we're not. Do we have do we have stocks in you? We do. We could sell them for a profit. Not that much. It costs us 1.2 billion if we want to buy you though. <laughs> not having social needs met, that's fine. How many of these companies did I buy stocks in? Did I buy stocks in everyone? I feel like I did. I think I did a lot of them, but then I think there's been new companies. And because we've, we've acquired so many damn products and licenses from company like Takeovers from when they go bankrupt. Like if we, get, if we get out my releases, how many of these are actually mine? Invented. This is everything I've invented here. And this is everything I've acquired. <laughs> that's some good stuff in there. That's pretty good. And then this is me. All right, so where are we now? February 2003, I know I said I was gonna end up, which I do, I just wanna keep an eye on where we're at. So this is coming out in May, so a couple months. This is coming out in October, not too far away. And then we've got 
operating system, which is still not even in development, but we're also working on new things anyway. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Have an awesome day.